Oh lol. <laughs> so yeah, I thought I'd just do a, a kind of an in-between vlog. And it's not even a vlog. I'm literally just gonna point the camera, you know, shoot a few bits, but um, you know, the full features take a lot more time to prepare and get ready and sort out. And in between that, I just wanna go fishing, you know, and try and catch some fish. And today I'm out at a very secret, secret location. Can't tell you where it is. It's gonna be a great future water. Um, sorry about the, uh, the shade on my face, but you know, sun is lovely and warm. Spring is definitely here, which is fantastic. So I've come out today. It's, it's a beautiful spring day. Um, arrived here first thing at sort of half past six in the morning. Walked along the bank, saw a few signs, uh, put a little bit of bait out using the response pellet from Mayline, which is just, you know, I think all the fish have been fed on pellet here anyway. So I've got my usual mix of sweet corn and, you know, link and crush a boil in. And I've used a little bit of that, but I've kind of cut that back a little bit now and I'm just using response pellets, so I'm just firing it out with the, the catapult. And I've had, I've had seven fish today. It's just, it's just a totally different experience than, you know, obviously my last experience, which I'm sure some of you may have seen. But yeah, seven fish to, you know, between 12 and, you know, I think about 19 pound, I think the biggest was. Beautiful fish, pristine condition, just absolutely amazing fish. Beautiful, excuse me, I'll wipe my nose. But yeah, gorgeous fish and great sport. You know, I prepped the spot, I say fired loads of pellet out there. I'm using a very simple spinner, uh, cut down little white wafters, and yeah, they're obviously on the munch, so yes, spring. Um, so it's a gorgeous day, beautiful weather, t-shirt, and yeah, I really, you know, really enjoy it. I was gonna do the night here, but actually, I think I might just do, just do into the evening. Um, I've had some good fish already. I've still got my rods out now, so if I run off and get my rods, that's what I'm doing there. <laughs> That's what happens when you don't spread your rods a little bit. <laughs> Tackle tart. Wow, what an amazing experience. Just just a catch, you know, and they're not the biggest fish in the world, but you know, it's great sport. Loving my new sound. These rods are perfect for this type of fishing. I've definitely got the balance right with this size reel and this rod. You know, having a smaller big pair, it just makes all the difference. fish are really putting up a good scrap or it could be that I'm just making a bit of a meal of it but it's all great fun. Oh, you've got to love a bit of springtime fishing especially when you're catching like this. I can't work out if that's a face of joy or slight madness. Definitely madness, definitely. Um, I think you're missing something. Nineteen pounds four.
beautiful fish. <laughs> Very great. Very pleased. Little nick out of its tail there as well, look. <laughs> So, so this is kind of like a, an in-between my next vlog. My next vlog's being shot on the 27th and I'm not going to give you any detail on that, it, but it's an amazing venue and with an awesome angler, which I'm sure you will all recognise. Um, yeah, so I'm really, really excited about that. Um, I've got to say a big thank you to everybody for watching the Fisherman Returns, which I really loved making. I loved doing the intro, that was awesome, it was good fun. and. Yes, that was Michael Caine. It was really Michael Caine. But I did get a voice actor just to do it for me and, you know, I just put that little bit of effort into it. You know, I see the, I see the same old stuff every day in the fishing world. It's the same stuff every day. And I'm just trying to break that pattern, you know, rig, bait, watch, the Yeah, it, it's just, there's more to it. There's more to fishing than just doing that, you know, there's there's this, there's this, there's, there is obviously fishing. Um, and maybe I probably might have a different view on this if I caught more fish, but then today, I'm just, I've just had it off. It's just been awesome. This week has been a bit of ups and downs for me, really. Uh, this week, I had my COVID jab and I didn't, well, I didn't fare very well for the next sort of 48 hours afterwards. I was in bed for a whole day. I was feeling absolutely and then, you know, the next day. Uh, now I feel probably 98% better. I'm, you know, I can still feel a bit of drag, but it's fine. You know, at least I'm sort of done. My first jab's done. Second one's booked. Uh, it was really funny when I was actually at the, uh, the centre. The uh, doctor who gave me the, he, um, he said to me, uh, Simon McCabe. Yep, Simon McCabe, yep looked at me, stared at me, he was looking, I thought I had my mask on, you know, wrong or something. He said, not the Fisherman Returns guy. And it was just funny. <laughs> just, he said, yeah, I'm a subscriber. So it was really nice, have a little chat with him, a bit of banter, so yeah, that was really good. Had some really, really sad news this week. Sorry to break the energy. Uh, my dog has been uh, diagnosed with cancer, which is really sad. She's only 10 years old, little Lottie, so, you know, it's really sad. And me and Jane are really cut up. Um, we don't know what she, what's going to happen. She's in the vets now, and the doctor sort of says, you know, it can be weeks, it can be months, um, but they can treat it. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping she fights back. She's a very strong dog, and I, you know, she's, she's our baby. I'm trying, trying not to well up here, but um, yeah, I'm really hopeful that she'll she'll pull through and do her thing. Um, but yeah, but you know, life goes on. You've got to keep fishing. So I'm out today, trying to you know not think about it too much. And well, these fish have obviously kind of you know they're helping me get through it basically. So I'm very very happy. Thank you, thank you. So yeah, great, great, uh, great time to get out. And yeah, if it, if it, maybe if it wasn't as prolific as it has been, I probably might've done the night, but I, you know, I wanna get back home and you know, see Jane and, and um, yeah. But it's great to be out. It is awesome to be out again. But yeah, I'm looking forward to the next shoot, say 27th. Um, again, thank you very much for everybody who's watched The Fisherman Returns. Great comments. Love, love people who just chat and are really nice. And you know, as I say, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it for brands. I'm doing it for me, and I'm doing it for you. I'm doing it for uh, for people who like a bit of entertainment. People who blank. <laughs> I'm your man. But <laughs> uh, you know, if you want to be real with this, this is what I do. You know, there's no point in, in bullshitting it. I'm just a real angler who tries and fails unlike today, where I'm fishing and I'm catching. You know, you'll have one day which is great, one day which is crap, so. Today is just glorious weather. Spring is definitely here. Fantastic future venue, this. As I say, I can't tell you where it is, um, but it is an absolutely incredible water. 
And uh, yeah, I look forward to giving you a bit more detail about it, hopefully in the near future. Stunning. Curse of the rods, broken. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, definitely madness, definitely.